Hi there, this is Renee from Floating Lights Photography. You are watching Focus Wednesdays, and today I'm going to show you how to remove noise from an image. So I'm going to open an image in Photoshop here. It's actually going to open first in Adobe Camera Raw, and I'll show you how to remove noise that way first. I took this really terrible photo of my dog just to show you. So anyhow, this is really um, crappy. It's in low light. I just took it this morning. And so I'm going to bring it up and just show you the grain or the noise. So here's lots of yucky, ugly grain. This is kind of overdone. I hope your image isn't as terrible as this, but if it is, I'll show you a couple different ways that you can reduce the grain and um, make it a little bit better. So in Adobe Camera Raw, the first way to remove grain um, or noise is under this little detail tab, and you can adjust your luminance, which kind of blurs or smooths the background. So that um, is how you could remove some of your grain there. Now let's say you didn't you didn't do this and you just had a JPEG or or let's say this wasn't um, good enough for you, you didn't like it that way. So what we're gonna do is open this image in Photoshop. Alright and the first thing I'm gonna do is duplicate the background layer. So to do that you're gonna hit Command J on a piece or on a Mac and Control J on a PC and it's duplicated the background layer. I'm now going to go up to Filter, I'm going to go to Noise, and I'm going to go to Dust and Scratches. As you can see it's removed the noise but it hasn't really fixed the photo that much. It's made the whole thing blurry. So you can play around with the radius and find an amount that works for you. I'm going to go somewhere around between 25 and 30. 28 looks good to me and I'm going to hit OK and it's going to run and it's done. So the one thing I don't like about this is now uh, the dog is blurry. So you can fix that. To do that you just add a layer mask. It's this little square with a circle in it down here to that layer. You're going to use a black brush. You can uh, adjust your opacity to whatever you'd like. I'm not going to do it full. but And then you can paint the dust and scratches layer off the dog or off your subject. So it's just going to remove the noise from the rest of the photo and not from the subject. So I'll just finish that up here. Perfect. So I'm good with that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is merge these layers together and to do that on a Mac you're going to hit Command, Option, Shift, and E. It's going to create a new merged layer. Um, on a PC I believe it's Control, Alt, Shift, and E to merge your layer. So it's created this new merged layer and now I want to add one more filter to it. So I'm going to come up to Filter, I'm going to go to Noise, and I'm going to go to Reduce Noise. And it's just going to take out just a little bit more of the noise for me. You can see here it's a little bit noisier. This is just removing it a bit. So you can play with the sliders and adjust it to wherever you'd like it. I usually go somewhere between 7 and 9. I'm going to go with 9 for this one. And then again you can do the preserve details as well. You can adjust the slider and see what you like. The tricky thing with preserve details is usually the higher the percentage that you're using the grainier it's going to get and that's only because in, su in such a low light situation there's not a lot of details to preserve so it's going to really try and keep as much uh, of the grain as it can because that's the only details it has. So I'm going to bring it down and leave it around 10 to 15 and that is good and it just takes out a little bit more of the noise than was there before. So I'm going to hit OK and it's going to run that. And there we go. I'll do a little before and after for you. So here is the before with a whole bunch of noise and here is the after and that's after running the dust and scratches and then the reduced noise. So one thing I just want to say about uh, noisy images. It's better actually to have a noisy image than a blurry image. So don't be afraid of noise. Rack that ISO up. Um, take the photo anyway. I should also mention you can buy external programs to reduce noise. I don't think it's necessary. I've never purchased one. I can get rid of the majority of the noise using the methods that I showed you today. 
So I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, you can email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.